With care homes across West Sussex opening their doors for National Care Home Open Day on June the 17th, we went along to find out exactly what the day means to homes, staff, residents and local communities. Our first stop was Croft Meadow in Stenning, where the staff had put together a wonderful array of entertainment, including a Dolly Parton tribute act. The care homes manager, Shara Lee, explain the opportunity the day provides to show what they do is more than just nine to five. It raises the awareness of the home it, it, and it shows everybody what, what can be achieved with just a little bit of effort, you know, because that's all it takes really is a little bit of effort, a lot of commitment and, and, and it's fun, it's fun for the residents, it's fun for the staff and, and we've helped out another charity today, we've helped out some Barnabas, so, and, and, and it's, just, it's just really good fun just really good fun for everybody. And it's something that the residents have decided on as well, as I was explaining to you with all the home decoration things. We don't, we think of an idea, but we don't book anything or even put wallpaper up unless we've said, look guys, what one do you like? By next week, they'll go, so what are we doing now? <laughs> <laughs> yep, because so they're so used to having stuff and that's the way it should be. This is the beginning of a different chapter of life. This isn't an end, mm. this is the beginning. And things like this get family and friends in as well. Half our staff are here and they're not even working in, today. You know, and that you shows know? you the level of commitment that, that people give when when you just do things like that. Everybody, if something's good, then everybody wants to join in. So you just got yeah. to make it good all the time, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. As good as yeah. you can. We know, we know that there's going to be times when it, it's hard work and it takes lots of effort and lots of commitment. But it pays dividends all the time. To just to see the residents smiling and happy and to see, to, particularly for me today, to see John and Audrey, yeah. as their husband and wife, dancing together, yeah. that, that's just wonderful. It really is. Next, we visited Elizabeth House in Bognor, where celebrations took on a more regal theme in honour of the Queen's 90th birthday. For visitors on the day, the staff provided information packs, which explained how this was much more than a one-off. We have a monthly newsletter every month so that everyone knows what's gone on the month before and what's coming up. And we've put that in so that people have, you know, a feeling of, of what we do. That it's not just for today. You know, they know that we have this sort of entertainment on, you know, regularly and not just because it's an open day, so that they can see that this is a, you know, an average day really here. We always have lots of things going on. So it's a very large home, 60 bedded, and um, it's nice and airy. The residents have lots of room that they can move and walk about and participate in things. Um, lots of activities on the wall for things for them to do as well. Yeah. I mean, because our, our job, we do the activities and we book in activities, but we also coordinate. That's our main job, so that we make sure that there's, you know, there's only two of us, there's three floors. So we always make sure that there is things going on on all floors, uh, which the staff participate in, um, and we just sort of make sure that those things are available. Um, you know, different activities and, and ideas and things like that. Other care homes across West Sussex also got involved, with Cabinet Member for Adult Social Care and Health, Peter Catchpole, as well as Council Leader Louise Goldsmith, stopping by. Our last stop was Marjorie Cobby in Selsey, where once again there was a royal touch to proceedings, there was more to the day than just celebrating Her Majesty, though. Having the opportunity to be part of the Care Home um, Open Day, it's an opportunity for us to open the doors to the local community and actually show them who we are and what we're about. Because despite the fact that we live in a, a relatively small community, I think a lot of people perhaps haven't ever visited the service and perhaps don't know the sort of service that, that we run. It um, also gives us an opportunity to forge links with local community organisations which we may not have thought of doing um, before. So from today we've, we've built up some really good new contacts. We've had a really positive day. Um, we've met up with people like Laura says who we wouldn't have met up with before. We've made links with them and we're going to keep contact with those people and um, showing people what we do at the Care Home. It's been a really good positive day for everybody, including staff. <laughs>